Chemistry lecture number 95, ion product constant for water and pH. Water molecules can ionize to form H plus and OH negative. From the equilibrium reaction, we write an equilibrium constant expression. So water ionizing to form H plus and OH negative, and then you put the products over the reactants. Products on top, reactants on the bottom. So KQ equals this expression. Very few water molecules ionize to form H plus and OH negative. And thus the concentration of water can change very little and it can be considered as a constant number. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by H2O. So if I take KEQ and then multiply it times H2O, this becomes that. And if we do that, um, the concentration of water cancels, and you're left with KEQ times concentration of water equals H plus times OH negative, and then in place of this expression, we just substitute KW. So KW equals concentration of hydrogen ion times concentration of hydroxide, and it's going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. KW is the ion product constant for water. Uh, it's equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th when the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Kw can be used to find the concentration of H plus and OH negative. So here's a problem. Concentration of hydronium ion in an aqueous solution is 2 times 10 to the negative third molar. Uh, what's the concentration of hydroxide? All right, so the formula is Kw equals H plus times OH negative. Kw, the value we're always going to use, is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Concentration of H plus or hydronium ion is 2 times 10 to the negative third, so we put that there. And then we're going to solve for OH. All right. So to solve for OH, uh, divide both sides by 2 times 10 to the negative third. And that's what I've done in this step right here. So what will happen is this will cancel out. And then the concentration of hydroxide is going to be equal to this expression right here. So this number divided by this number gives me 5 times 10 to the negative 12th. And I guess that should have been 5.0 times 10 to the negative 12th for the correct number of significant digits. In any case, that's the concentration of hydroxide. Now all aqueous or water-based solutions contain H plus and OH negative. If the amount of H plus is greater than the amount of OH negative, the solution is acidic. So H plus greater than OH negative, it's an acid. If the amount of hydroxide is greater than the amount of H plus, the solution is basic. So concentration of OH greater than concentration of H plus, it's a base. And if the amounts of H plus and OH negative are equal, the solution is neutral neither acidic nor basic. One way to describe the relative amount of H plus in solution is to use pH. Mathematically, pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H plus. Quick review of what we mean by log. <clears throat> log of 100 equals 2. Uh, log of 1,000 equals 3. Log of 0 0.0001 equals negative 4. So why is log of 100 equal to 2? Well, that's because 10 squared equals 2. Why is log of 1,000 equal to 3? Well, 10 to the third equals 1,000. And why is log of 0 0.0001 equal to negative 4? That's because 10 to the negative fourth equals 1,000. So the way logarithms work is it's 10 raised to this power equals this number. And I think in some math books they'll even put the number 10 down here to remind you. So 10 raised to the third power gives 1,000. So that's the meaning of uh, logarithms. So let's try a problem. The pH of an aqueous solution with a hydronium ion concentration of uh, 7.4 times 10 to the negative third molar would be... Um, so we're trying to find the pH given this... H plus concentration, well pH is negative log of H plus, P 
pH equals negative log of 7.4 times 10 to the negative 3. So you enter this number into your calculator and press log. You'll end up with negative 2.13. And then a negative times a negative is a positive, And you get positive 2.13. So if the concentration of H plus is 7.4 times 10 to the negative 3, the pH of the solution is 2.13. Uh, do you notice that the pH is written with two numbers past the decimal? 0.13. All right. Well, for pH, the number of places past the decimal that you write equals the number of significant figures in the uh, H plus concentration. 7.4 times 10 to the negative third has two significant figures. So we write the pH with two numbers to the right of the decimal point. So two significant figures in the concentration right here, 7 and 4. And then we write two places past the decimal in the pH. So that's just how it's done with the pH. If the pH of a solution is less than 7, the solution is acidic. Thus, a pH of 2.13 tells us that we have an acidic solution. So pH less than 7, it's an acid solution. If the pH of a solution is greater than 7, the solution is basic. So pH greater than 7, it's a base. If the pH of a solution is equal to 7, the solution is neutral. pH equals 7, it's neutral. Neither acid nor base. Now, knowing the pH of a solution, we can calculate uh, the concentration of H+. Plus. So let's try this problem. Uh, find the H plus concentration if the pH is 8.20. All right, so our formula, pH equals negative log of H+. Plus. And then in place of pH, we write 8.2. And then what we'll do is we'll multiply both sides of this times negative 1. So this times negative 1 gives me negative 8.20. A negative times a negative gives me a positive. And then we have log of H plus equals negative 8.2. And so I just flip this equation around. These are the same thing. Now, anytime you have log of an unknown equals a number, the way you solve for the unknown is you raise the unknown to that power uh, of 10. So concentration of H plus is going to be 10 raised to the negative 8.20 power. All right. You might remember from algebra that, uh, you know, log of y equals w, so that would mean y equals 10 to the w. All right. Anyway, if you solve for this expression, uh, uh, you'll end up with 6.3 times 10 negative ninth molar. So if the pH is 8.20, then the uh, concentration of H plus is 6.3 times 10 to the negative ninth. And notice, Two places past the decimal in the pH, two significant digits in the concentration of H+. Plus. If the pH of an acid solution is known, we can calculate the uh, Ka. So let's try this problem. Find the Ka for a 0 0.04 molar solution um, of HClO2, chlorous acid if its pH is 1.80. So when we solve for Ka, um, what we're going to have to do is we take this HClO2, and this breaks apart into H plus ClO2 negative, and then the Ka is going to be the concentration of H plus times the concentration of ClO2 negative over the concentration of HClO2. So to find the Ka, we need values to put in here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll figure out the concentration of H+. Plus. All right, so we use pH equals negative log of H+, plus, and then pH is given as 1.80. So we solve for the uh, concentration of H+. Plus. Multiply both sides by negative 1. This becomes negative 1.8. This becomes positive log of H plus. Log of an unknown equals a number. To find the unknown, it's 10 raised to that number. So the concentration of H plus is going to be 10 raised to the negative 1.8. And then the concentration of H plus is 0 0.016 molar. 
Now this value also represents the number of HClO2 molecules that ionized from the original 0.04 molar that we started with. So we know that the amount of H plus is 0 0.016. And notice that when one of these falls apart, you'll get one of these and one of these. So for every H plus that's made, you're gonna get uh, a ClO2 negative. So that means that if 0 0.016 of H plus is made, the amount of ClO2 also has to be 0.016. These are made in a one-to-one -one ratio, all right? And then, um, if this is the amount of H plus that made, that's made, it also represents the amount of HClO2 that dissociated. So if you started with 0.04 molar of HClO3 and 0.016 of it dissociated, this represents the amount of HClO2 remaining. Okay, so now we have our numbers that we can put into our expression right here. So let's draw it on the next page. So the concentration of H plus is 0.016. We calculated that from the pH. The amount of H plus that's made is also going to be equal to the amount of ClO2 that's made. This is the amount of HClO2 that we started with, but the amount remaining is going to be 0.04 minus this number. All right, so HClO2 dissociates to form H plus and ClO2 negative. The amount of HClO2 remaining is going to be 0.04 minus 0.016. The amount of H plus we calculated was 0.016. The amount of ClO2 is going to be the same as the amount of H plus, 0.016. We then do products over reactants. So here's the product on top here and here. Here's the reactant on the bottom here. And now we just plug in the numbers. H plus is 0.016. ClO2 is also 0.016. And then the amount of HClO2 is 0.04 minus 0.016 on the bottom. And then if you mathematically grind out this answer, you'll get 1.1 times 10 to the negative 2. All right, so pH can be used for a number of different things. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 95, ion product constant for water and pH.